What would you say if we said we could turn your slice into a draw in just five shots? Now you may be thinking BS, but this is exactly what happened to one of our students just recently. Yes, definitely. And in this video, we're gonna share with you the two things that we did with him that really made a huge difference and hopefully they can help you too. Yes, we're Piers and Andy from Me and My Golf. Welcome to Bermuda and welcome to Port Royal, the home of the Bermuda Championship. Fantastic golf course. Now our mission is to make you better at golf. So if you wanna get better at golf, you better make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to improve your game. Yes, definitely. Now we're gonna share a lesson that we did over a couple of weeks ago with one of our students and he came, he was struggling with a slice and it was incredible really that how quickly we changed it in just a few shots and it was just a few shots. So hopefully in this video, you're gonna learn the, the couple of things that we did that really made a big difference. Now let's take a look at Lee's golf swing. And what you're gonna notice, it's actually a good golf swing, but he was really struggling with a slice with his irons and with his driver. So first of all, let's take a look at what we did. Now, when we look at his posture, what we can see is that he's quite bent over. We can see a lot of angle from his hips forward. And if we draw a line down the back of the tricep straight down, we can see that passes way in front of his knees and in front of his toes. This really means that there's a lot of weight in his toes, he's off balance, and he's got too much hip hinge forward. This really makes it very hard to move the club, but also use the ground in a good way. And if we take him up, he makes a, a great backswing, really good backswing. But in the downswing, we can see that he swings over the top, a little bit to the left, and the ball ends up slicing out to the right. So let's go through the posture change that we did with him first, and then we'll show you the next drill after that as well. So Pierce, how do we want to stand with posture? Share that with the guys. Do you, do you know what? Absolutely. I always think of Henrik Stenson when he's standing to the golf course, golf ball because he's brilliant. So what we're looking for, and a really good checkpoint for you, whether it be video camera or mirror, is when you're standing to the golf ball, is that we can drop a line from the back of your right arm, so from the back of the tricep, and it passes just in front of the knee and into the front part of the toes, or sorry, should I say the back part of the toes in the trail foot there. So from there, you can be much more balanced, and as we'll see, you can get it on plane a lot easier. Definitely, and Lee was obviously quite bent forward, and it's just really hard from there to use the ground in a good way, and it's, you're gonna be off balance doing that, and that's obviously what we don't want. So from numerous things, Pierce, slice, yeah and Absolutely. power was going to be a big thing. So yeah. let's just hit a shot and let's just sort of see from here and get a good look at this. And you can see Pierce's spine angle here. It isn't that bent forward, but he's nicely balanced on the middle portion of his foot. This is a this is the 15th hole. This is a really hard tee shot, but oh, you know, I'm up to the challenge. That's a beauty. Nice one, that That's one. actually could be close to the green Pierce. Let's should we just I'm going to watch that actually. Oh no, it's way short, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, so let's go into the next thing. Then this, the next thing here was really the big thing that changed everything, and you're gonna notice a, a huge thing here. Now, as we saw with Lee, he was over the top. He was a little over the top on the way down, but everything was having a slice. The ball was starting out right, and then bending to the right even further. So, yes, he was swinging across the ball, yep. but there was a, an underlying issue that was really causing the main problem, and that's the club face. The club face was actually really good throughout the backswing and in the downswing sort of down here, but it was still starting right. So that when we see that, we go, okay, what's happening through the golf ball? And we changed one thing through the golf ball that really changed, first mm. of all, it changed his flight, but then it had a huge effect on his golf swing. Piers, talk us through the change and give us a drill for the guys at home. Well, look, this, this drill and this change, let's just show you first of all what we're looking for. We're looking for more of this movement here through the golf ball, especially if someone's slicing it. If we can get the, the glove hand looking like that so you can see the fingers and you can see the right hand like so, that's exactly what we're after. We don't want to be there. So the drill that we use for this is what we call downtime. And this downtime drill, it's probably, it's the best way to stop the curve to the right. And what we will do is we'll try and get you to hook it. If we can get you hooking it really quickly, then that's a really good thing because it shows that you are closing the face faster. So all we're saying is from here, if I had a, my watch on here, I'm hitting shots, so I haven't got it on. But if I were to swing through that hitting area, I want to get the clock face on my watch pointing down to the ground. So that's the downtime. So the back of my lead wrist is pointing down to the ground or my palm is pointing straight up. Now this is an exaggeration. If we put the golf club in there, you'll see how much rotation of the face that I get. We probably don't want that in a golf shot, but if you slice it, you definitely want this to start with. And this is look, one thing we always talk about is that what you do past the golf ball, so through here, is so important. A lot of people sort of forget about what you do past the golf ball, but if you create a good motion with the face and the hands and the arms, it actually takes care of a lot of good things that happen before the golf ball. 
and we saw this with uh, with Lee which we'll show you in a moment now we saw that with Lee on the way through that his left hand was more like this maybe not as exaggerated as that but we could see the glove hand on top of the trail hand here and the club face hadn't turned and as soon as we did this drill with him and got the face closing slice had gone and the fact that we coupled it with posture was just incredible really and it re really was I think it was probably less than five shots that we did this as well so yeah. it was great to see Unbelievable. So let's, let's hit a shot. Now, the good thing is, well, I say the good thing, the bad thing is we've got the Bermuda triangle over on the left there. And if I put uh, downtime in it with my goal swing, it's probably going to have an, uh, an aggressive draw. But I'll see if I can balance it out. Just put a little bit of downtime. I'll put a little bit of downtime. You might need to aim right, but that's it. A little bit of downtime's good. Oh, that is a beauty. That one's getting on the green, isn't that, it? That's even better, Pierce. Let's that keep watching even it. better. I'm just going to watch that. Looks great against the blue sky and the blue ocean. Oh, lovely. Lovely. So two things, posture, have a check of that. I think there's something that we've coached a lot of golfers with that we're always seeing that they're out of posture. So make sure you get in the, maybe in the mirror or even just video your golf swing, check that posture. And if you slice the golf ball, take a little downtime. That may just help you there. And we know it helped Lee massively and we know it could help you too. If that was helpful, make sure you hit the like and leave us a comment down below. What do you need help with? We'd love to get back to you. Yeah, so we're pretty sure as well, you clicking on this video means that you have got a slice. Now, Lee obviously was able to get it done in five shots. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. So we have the perfect coaching plan for you, which is turn your slice into a draw. Now, literally thousands of golfers have done this. They've come to the website, hitting slices, and they're able to hit a draw by just understanding exactly what it takes to hit that draw and how to get rid of their slice on a long-term basis. So make sure you get involved, click the link down below, and take up Slicer Draw now, and there'll be no more lost golf balls to the right.